Hey YouTube, Last Story Scrolls here today with PSA Returns round 22, 23, 22, I don't know. Um, this was the, I th think the April round, um, but it's 30 cards, two users, myself and Pokemon PSA Collector 12, you can see all the cards right here. So we'll start with Pokemon PSA Collector 12's cards, and we'll move into mine. So he sent 18 cards, a bunch of first edition base set. You got a Machamp. These Holofoil ones didn't do so great. He got an 8 here on the Machamp. A Magneton first edition base set. Came back a seven. Nine Tails did the bus with a PSA eight, which even an eight on this card is pretty good. Um, it's a difficult card to uh, to find. I actually traded my PSA ten one back for. I think it was a Gyarados and some other cards. Because I really like the Gyarados, so that's why I got the Gyarados, even though it's one of the cheaper ones. Um, Polyrath. This one came back a 7 as well, so not so good. I knew this one was probably going to come back a 7, just how, by how it looked. Um, there's some Edgeware on it. I have a PSA 6 and a PSA 8 on that one myself, so it's one that I don't even have a 9 in yet. Magneton I haven't graded because it's damaged, and actually the same with Ninetales, so. Um, he sent some uncommon first edition base set stuff, so we got Growlithe, which came back a 9. The uncommons of these are pretty awesome. Um, I'm actually looking for them myself, as I have a complete common set. They're just not all graded yet, uh, but they're all like either eights, nines, or tens. And then uh, I have all the foils as well, but I don't have any of the non holo rares, and I only have a few of the uncommons. So this is a really big one, a War Turtle. Um, came back a 9. This is actually one that I want quite badly as well. Charmeleon, Ivysaur, and Wartortle are all ones that uh, are up there on my wants list. But that's a 9. Brand new case, as you can see the logo. And the, uh, the back side is numbered as well. Really cool card. Um... A PSA 10 on this is insane. One sold for $650. Um, it might have been Pokemaster556 who sold it on eBay. But uh, a PSA 9 of that's only around the $30 range, so it's quite a difference. Then he sent some first edition base set commons. We got a Caterpie and a 9. Game with Chop. This one came back a gem mint ton. That's cool. I think this is one of the higher population commons, though. I think Voltorb is a higher population one as well, because I think I have this one in a ton myself. But here's a, uh, a mint 9 Voltorb. Brand new cases, which are nice. Voltex. Absolutely love this card. Always have. This Pokemon is awesome. Came back a 9. A gem mint 10. Full heal. This may be one of the uh, higher, harder ones to get. Um, possibly. So, awesome. Congrats. A mint 9 switch. 
And then he sent two energy cards, a fire energy, mint nine. As you can see, you know, nines are the average normal grade on these. I think these were all pack fresh from packs he opened as well. So, you know, you could see the sort of sucks even grading them. You're not guaranteed to get your money back for what you spent on the packs. Um, so I think the pack, first edition base set pack now is th like $300. But we have a uh, grass energy. And a 9. And then he sent some uh, E-series stuff. A Zapdos from Aquapolis came back a 9. Saw the Articuno and Moltres in another order. It was probably this guy who sent them as well. I think one came back a 9 and one a 10. So, 9, 9, 10 there. Kingdra. Crystal Kingdra. This one came back in 8.5, which is a very odd grade. Um, PSA does not give subgrades, which are like half grades very often. And the thousands of cards that I've sent, I've seen maybe three or four subgrades total. So it's it's not something you see hardly ever. So pretty cool. Too bad it didn't get a 9, though. Not sure why it might have been for that white ding on that corner there. Uh, two Sky Ridge cards, or well, one Sky Ridge card. A Hollow Dugong. Absolutely love this as well. This one came back in nine. So it's mid nine. And a EX Crystal Guardians Hollow Rare Charizard. Another card that I'm still missing personally. It's one of, I think, three or four cards in the set to complete my set. Somebody sent me an offer when I sent an offer on eBay for one for like 10 bucks for a near mint mint one, and I passed it down for some reason. I don't remember why. Maybe I just didn't have money at the time, but it's a pretty cool card. Came back an eight, though, sadly. So no nine there. Um. So, finally, these other, I think there's 12 cards on my own. Uh, almost got straight nines. A couple, two other cards got a different grade. One better, one lower. So, uh, yeah, English black and white sets, you hardly ever see tens on them as well. Which is upsetting, but... You know what, I just sent these to, to have a full graded set. So, I sent Boundaries Crossed, so now I have a complete Boundaries Crossed set um, graded. All the full arts and the secret rares are all nines. I have a full nine set, which is awesome. So we got Celebi full art that came back in nine. And PSA actually damaged two of my cards. Um, down here there's whitening, like right here. From when they encapsulated it they like it got stuck in the case when they sealed it i contacted them to get it fixed they want me to ship the cards back to them pay the entire return shipping cost which is like 25 dollars plus the shipping cost there so i'm looking at 30 35 dollars to have two cards sent back to try and have them you know, reimburse me for it, that doesn't make sense, um, so I said screw it, uh, the cards aren't that valuable anyways, I think I only put $25 down a piece on them for when I sent them in, so I wouldn't even make money back there, so it's sort of a waste, so whatever, uh, Caldeo Full Art, 9 as well, Cresselia. The uh, Landorus, Caldeo, White Kiram, I bought. The rest of these I pulled myself. Back when Boundaries Crossed was like one of the newer sets, or the newest, newest set. Back when I was in college. We got Cresselia that came back in 9. Really like this one. 
looks great. Landorus, Mint 9. I think this is another one that they damaged. This corner's got some edge wear on it that wasn't there before. This black Kyrum came back lower than I was expecting. Um, this is a factory error card. So they gave it an 8. Because on the back, it's got like white specks and white lines. Um, like when it was printed. It's probably hard to see, but it's actually all over the card. Like if you look really close, you can see white specks on it. So, too bad, because, I mean, it's a factory error. It should have came back a 9 because of it, but they gave it an 8. I have another 9 anyways, but whatever. White Kiram Full Art came back a 9. Another one that I purchased way back. Um, I was actually missing this one for a while. I think I ended up paying like 15 bucks for it. It was not dropping in price, and eventually it went up, so I'm happy I bought it when I did, off of eBay. You got Skyla Full Art, and 9, I've got two PSA 9s of this one now. May decide to sell the other one in the older case, I'm not sure yet. I don't really like selling cards, especially stuff like this that are very hard to find nowadays. I mean, black and white full arts are almost dried up. It's crazy. Especially mint ones. We got a couple of shinies. Shiny Teraki on here. This card's gorgeous. Since there's not much light, it's hard to see the, the golden embossed fighting symbol down here. And the turquoise background on this and the red horns and stuff are just awesome. That came back a 9, so I have two 9s of that one now. And two more of these ungraded, actually, as well. A 9 Rocky Helmet. Shiny as well. So I got two PSA 9s of this one as well. So that's a complete, uh... Well, that's not the complete. Um... What do you call it? Boundaries Cross set. Uh... But it's, it's a, I have a complete set right now of all the secrets and the full arts. Just pretty awesome. So when I get around to it, I'll definitely show that video off to you guys. I think people would enjoy seeing that. Um, last three cards here were three Plasma Storm cards that I sent in. I was really thinking these were all going to get tons, but they didn't. Um... These were literally what I thought were the best copies I had of these since I have about five, I think five of each of these cards that I pulled. Um, so we have a Luvia EX. I saw somebody send one that came back a 10 and I was so jealous in English, but mine came back a 9 sadly. Still an awesome card, still going to keep it, but would have killed to have that 10. The Teeny Full Art, Mint 9, was really expecting a ton on that one as well, it looked like a ton to me. Final card guys, the best card in the entire submission just happened to be the last card, a pristine card, very valuable. Um, I can't even put a price on this. We have an Articuno Full Art from Plasma Storm in a gem mint 10 in English. So, shiny Charizards from Plasma Storm. Those are selling for roughly, what, 700, 6, 700? There are a lot more of these than this. There are four PSA 10s of this card in the world in English. And I have one of them. So it's pretty insane. The other ones I guarantee you are in the hands of high-end collector collectors. Hisoka probably has one. Um, I don't know about the other ones. Maybe somebody like... Uh, 
SM Pratt, who's Scott, who's a, a collector, big high-end collector, trophy collector uh, in the United States. Might have one, but um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.